Range fans, Reloaders Network and Rimfire Central, have we got an awesome 22 Rimfire show for you today. Welcome Range fans, Mr. Revolver Guy here with DayAtTheRange.com. Range fans, many of you have seen this one before. It's the old CZ455, but it's got the Lothar Walther barrel on it. And we're still breaking this thing in. If you saw the other episode, which I'll leave a card up in the top right, left corner, one of those two anyways, um, I'll point you back to the other video. If you saw the other video, we have been shooting the CZ455 with the LA-101 trying to find out which ammunition is best suited for each. And I tell you what, it has been exciting so far. It has been a lot of fun for me so far. And I am way down this rabbit hole. Unfortunately, I think the rabbit hole just got deeper and wider. Might be more like a gopher hole right now. If you saw the previous episode, you saw I didn't get to shoot the CZ-455 with the Ely match. So today, that's what we're going to do. In the previous video, ODM showed up with his voodoo, and uh, we shot the voodoo on target. Go see if you want to see how the voodoo performed with Center X. Well, today we're going to shoot the old Ely match uh, in the CZ-455, and then we're going to move on to Center X in the LA-101. I'm so looking forward to it. So yes, we are changing ammunition. Yes, the barrels will be clean in between uh, the changing of brands of ammunition. We're going to put them down on target. Enough chit chat. Let's get to it. All right, team. I'm jumping right into it. The old CZ 455 Lothar Walther barrel with the Ely match. You're going to see it here on dayattherange.com. Exactly the way I see it. Any jams? Any imperfections on target? Hopefully it's not too imperfect that it uh, shoots my camera down range. But anyways, Ely match, CZ455. By the way, team, by the way, I've got something special planned for the end of the video. You're going to want to stick around. Uh, I was just going to surprise everybody at the end of the video, but uh, no, I'm not going to go into it now. Just stick around. Stick around. All right. All right, here we go. Thought I had it lined up. I guess not as good as I thought I did. 10 rounds, easy match. Shooting a little high. Huh. Let's see. All right, next five shots. Wow, vertical stringing. Interesting, vertical stringing on the first 10 shots. I'm sweating like a pig out here. Man, do pigs sweat? Hmm, ponder that one. Let's put in the five round magazine and move on to the next target.
Oh, ho, ho, ho. Range fans, range fans. What'd you think? That was pretty good. But notice, yes, I'm cheating a little. You guys saw in the last video that I had with the CZ455 that I talked a little bit about the 10 round magazine just, and it's a CZ 10 round magazine, just did not feel as smooth to me as the five rounder. Well, does that make a difference on target? That is the question. You saw that five round group. We're gonna move on to another five round magazine and uh, see if I can keep this up. Well, well, well. Hmm. It's a whole Lothar Walther barrel. Well, you fellas think, is it starting to shine or what? Uh, man, I'm pretty much amazed. I'm going to get me a towel right quick to dry out this old ball head of mine and uh, get some more magazines loaded up and get the old Gem Tech suppressor out because now we're moving next to the Gem Tech suppressor. Be right back. Oh yeah, folks. Oh yeah, folks. Got the old Gym Tech suppressor on the Walther barrel and uh, 20 rounds through the Gym Tech suppressor to see how it fares. There might be something to this 10 round, five round magazine thing. Uh, you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, let's put these five rounds down range. Yeah, I might be rushing through this episode a little bit with the CZ455, no disrespect to my baby here. Uh, but we got something special, something really special, something you have not seen before outside on the range outside of SHOT Show. This is the first independent review of what's to come next. Five rounds, Ely match. Gym Tech suppressor. How will she do? That's what everybody wants to know. Mr. Revolver Guy, how does she do? About the same point of aim. Maybe a hair lower. That's five. Man, I messed up that last shot. Oh, come on, big fella. Keep the sweat out of your eyes. 100 degrees out here today. Moving on to the next target. Man, that breeze feels good. Oh no, is it me shaking? Yeah, not too bad. I know I can do better though. Still warming this Lothar Walther barrel up, guys. This 20-inch barrel, threaded, 
from the factory uh, so far has shot pretty well with just about anything I've put through it. Uh, the only thing, only complaint I really have is that it just doesn't come with a, um, a thread protector or anything. But I don't know, maybe that just doesn't make, make a difference. Makes a difference in protecting the threads, but uh, that's pretty much it. I'm pretty impressed, but we're going to keep firing. Uh, this is, I got two more groups with Gem Tech Suppressor CZ455. Ooh, dead center. Uh-oh. So did I mess that up? I messed that round up. I don't want to force it, folks. Oh, man, it's jammed up in there good. Let's see. Nope. It's worthy of going down range. Sure was worthy of going down range, right in the same hole. So, we got five more rounds. This group is the group that we score with the old Gem Tech suppressor. And we'll show you the group sizes at the end of the video, just like every video we've done. We're going to show you uh, the group sizes and um, uh, probably enter them in the day at the range dot com 22 challenge i'm telling you we're getting folks from all over the place and i will get caught up folks on posting the targets and the videos that i'm being sent to include on the leaderboard really appreciate everybody's support let's make this the largest 22 challenge on the net by the way day at the range dot com has been around for a very very long time i suspect that it will continue to be around which means if you enter this challenge your name will be in bright lights uh, for just about forever, especially with the way Google caches things. So um, looking forward to you guys joining us, guys and gals. All right, let's score this five-shot group. Oh, what happened there? Go figure, a little pressure and I choke. Not a bad size group, but I know I could have done better. But there you have it, CZ455 with the Ely match, folks. Hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying it. But now, we're gonna break out something a little different. Again, this is the first time independent channel, not sponsored, and we are the first independent to put this on YouTube. Dayatherange.com, look at what's next. Range fans, I'm deep down this gopher hole. It's no longer a rabbit hole. It's a gopher hole, folks. First independent channel, YouTube. I guess they all could be considered independent. I don't mean to slack on anyone else or bring negative comments to anyone else. Never wish that on anybody uh, because this is just a fun hobby for me to bring you uh, these type of videos. And on the bench with me today is a Christensen Arms Ranger 22. This thing is quite sweet. We're going to go over it right quick. Then we're going to take some old Center X and just put it right on target. 
Center X, you're gonna see it just like I see it. Uh, I have sighted it in with a uh, laser bore scope. So this is officially the first shots fired. And starting first, first and foremost, we'll start at the front of this thing. It is threaded and has a carbon fiber wrapped barrel. It is 22 long rifle. That's right, folks, I forgot about that. It's 22 long rifle. This bouncing baby girl, it's my baby girl because it's a pretty little thing, isn't it? It is 5.1 pounds. 5.1 pounds, that's it. It's got this carbon fiber wrapped barrel on it that allows for more rigidness of the barrel, according to Christensen Arms and others in the industry, along with shaving some of that weight. It's got a composite stock uh, carbon fiber embedded in the stock, as, as I am told or have seen on their website, as well as an aluminum receiver that's very, very nice. Um, the bolt is taken out here on the side, much like the Ruger um, American Rimfire. It has that same little notch there on the side. Even more interesting, this particular rifle takes a Remington 700 trigger. I've got this one adjusted down to two and a half pounds. I mean, it is pretty, pretty nice. And also the uh, trigger guard is composite. Some might like that, some may not, but I found it to be very rigid. Seems pretty good to me. One of the unique and craziest things is, it takes Ruger 1022 magazines, you believe that? And yep, I've got two of them out here with me uh, with, uh, 10 rounds a piece in this old uh, Ruger 10-22 magazines. One that came with the rifle, one uh, with a Ruger 10-22, my son's Ruger 10-22 that I have at home. I've got this old Vortex 3-9 to on top of it. It was something I can throw on it right quick to get it out to the range and show you guys first shots fired out of the uh, Christensen Arms Ranger 22. Am I missing anything? Uh, yeah, sling swivels on this thing is common, and also very, very nice, soft rear butt pad. Not sure why it has to be that soft. Not like 22 has a ton of recoil. I think the only knock that I would give this rifle is if you take this, look at that, folks. I'm not sure. Uh, it doesn't feed as smooth as my uh, CZ455, and the bolt, is pretty small compared. If you lay the Lithgo arms, which would be the highest cost of the rifles you've seen on this channel, if you lay the Lithgo arms, then next in price, the Christensen arms, then the CZ455, you'll notice that the Christensen arms has a very minimal uh, bolt. Now, that may not make a difference at all. It's supposed to be, again, this is one of the lightest rifles out there, maybe the lightest rifle out there. I am not sure, haven't done that kind of a research. I just wanted to get this bad boy or bad girl out on the range and uh, have fun, show her to you all, show you all what it's like, how it shoots, and we're gonna capture that. And hopefully find some ammo that it likes and um, enter it into Day at the Range 22 Challenge. Oh boy, now three rifles for this Day at the Range Challenge and also this uh, gopher hole now of finding the right ammo. Let's put this thing on target, folks. Enough of that chit chat crap. I don't think I forgot anything. Let's see here. If I, if I forgot anything, I will um, include it in a written review over at dayattherange.com. So you'll be able to find a detailed written review over at dayattherange.com. The barrel is truly free floated. Um, and uh, oh yeah, two, two rear lug locking lugs that are steel. Uh, so there you have it. What do you think? First independent YouTube channel, Christensen Arms, Ranger, 22. All right, here we go. Oh, man, I'll shoot my camera. 
with that point of aim. Here we go, folks. All right, yeah. Didn't remember if I put the magazine in, bolt closed or what, but here we go. First shot fired. Ranger, 22. Center X ammo. Ooh, a little high. Vertical stringing. But again, first shot fired, folks. This will be the first five. I think I need to come down a little bit on the scope. Let's uh, make that adjustment. All right, next five rounds. I don't know, will it be able to compete? Not sure. Uh-oh. Well, there you have it. Day at the range. The real deal. So I had a jam there. I do notice that uh, this one doesn't feed quite as smooth as I would like it to, or quite as smooth as my Lithgow or CZ455. I'm sure the boat will break in. Hmm. All right, magazine drops free. Huh, that's odd. Magazine feeds pretty simple. All right. First 15 shots, I don't know. I think I would have expected it to shoot a little bit better, folks. What do you think? You tell me down in the comments below. Uh, but it's not doing too bad. Barrel's not quite broken in. By the way, uh, in the book, it simply says, go to Christensen Arms website for the break-in procedure. I'm sure one of my savvy fans down below will be able to find that barrel break-in procedure on their website. I did find the barrel break-in procedure for the larger calibers, 
Don't know if you're supposed to use that same one for 22. Not quite sure. But maybe that's what it needs is just a, a break-in period. And maybe I'm not breaking it in quite right. I don't think it'll hurt the rifle one way or the other. It might make a difference in how quick accuracy comes around, though. So uh, if someone knows where the Christensen Arms Ranger 22 break-in procedure is, please let me know. All right, Center X and Christensen Arms. Now we're going to move on to Christensen Arms Gem Tech Suppressor. I always, before, when I get a new rifle, I always check the bore alignment to the uh, suppressor before bringing it out to the range. I've done that, so no worries on the safety there. Um, let's put the suppressor on and get to Gem Tech Christensen Arms grouping. All right, folks, I got 20 more rounds of the uh, Lapua Center X. Man, is this stuff greasy. Lapua Center X and the old Christensen Arms. You've seen the first 20 rounds by an independent channel of the Christensen Arms. I've not been able to find a uh, YouTube channel that's had this out on a live day at the range uh, video or a live video in general on either other channel. So you're getting it here first. There was plenty of reviews at the SHOT Show uh, on this particular rifle. Plenty channels that covered it, but none out on the range like this that I've been able to find. So hopefully it's a first. Hopefully you've seen it here first. Hopefully it's bringing you what you need to decide if Christensen Arms uh, Ranger 22 is for you. Now moving on to the suppressor. Oh man, I gotta adjust that much. Remington 700 trigger, two and a half pounds. Which I think, potentially with a better trigger, I might be able to do better. Not saying this is a bad trigger. But again, in comparison, my uh, CZ trigger is about one pound or a little under one pound. Uh, depending on what day I measure it, this one being at two and a half pounds. I know with the suppressor here, it seems to be, it seems it did change the point of aim to shoot a little bit high. High and right. Still vertical stringing. High and right. Interesting. Man, I'm just wasting dots down range because I ain't hitting them today. Whoa! I just screwed up my CZ455 target. It's okay. You're going to get it here just like I see it in the video anyways. which means we'll know which one was which.
interesting. Hmm. All right. Let's move on to the next video. Just might take some breaking in, folks. Let's make sure this thing is tight. It is tight. You know what? Every now and again, I've noticed this thing is not ejecting strong. Maybe I'm racking it, treating it too much. Softly, treating it too softly, shall I say. Now I did change my point of aim, by the way, and I've got my crosshairs on that red line uh, down below the black target. Need to be getting a little bit tighter. What do you guys think? And I got five more rounds in there. So the last five rounds of the Christensen Arms. Leave a comment down below on what you think. Is it does it earn your dollars? I wouldn't pass judgment too soon though. You guys know about these 22s. Some of you way more than I do. That's interesting. Seems to be locked up now. Yeah, something's not quite right with the ejection. Uh, if Christensen Arms is watching, I'm not sure it's a major problem. But uh, again, maybe it's the way I'm racking the boat and treating it too softly. That's what I'll chalk it up to before I call Christensen Arms. Yeah, see how that round just fell out? That's four. Did it eject? Yeah, looks like it. It's got the hook and the stock down below to keep it in your shoulder tight. I'm telling you folks, yeah, that's starting to tighten up. I'm telling you folks, what do you think? Christensen Arms uses Ruger 1022 magazines. I'm pretty pleased. I think it can have a smoother uh, bolt action where it's, it's a little bit smoother back and forth, but I think that's gonna break in. Uh, I did clean it and put a little oil on it before coming out. I think that'll break in. I'll keep my eye on the uh, extraction and ejection also. But you saw it on range. You saw it here first at dayattherange.com. Christensen Arms Ranger 22. Man, I've had a blast. Folks, thanks for joining. And don't forget to subscribe down below. Click that old bell to notify you when I post more go for a hole videos because I'm way beyond the rabbit hole at this point. I'm in the go for hole. So um, we'll get to the old Lithgow and Cinerex 
on the next video. Mr. Revolver Guy, signing out. What we all came for, what is the grouping sizes? The CZ455 Ely match turned in a group of 0 0.308 inches for an MOA of 0 0.588. The Ely match CZ455 and Gemtech turned in a group size of 0 0.558 with a 1.067 MOA. If I were to cherry pick the best group, CZ455 Ely Match turned in a group size of 0 0.306 inches for an MOA of 0.584. Now moving on down to the Christensen Ranger 22. Christensen Ranger 22 turned in a group size of 0 0.694 for a 1.325 MOA with Lapua Center X ammunition. Then with the Gemtech suppressor, the Ranger 22 turned in a 0 0.598 inch group with a 1.142 MOA. If I were to cherry pick a group, the Ranger 22 turned in its best showing of the day at 0. 0 0.460 inches with a 0 0.879 MOA and I think it's even capable of more with a guarantee of half MOA at 50 yards. Thank you for joining me for the longest video yet. Somebody come get me out of this rabbit hole. Mr. Revolver Guy signing out.